Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we're going to take a look at Reason 9.5 because it now has uh, the ability to use VSTs right inside Reason, which is fantastic, which is what everyone who uses Reason has always wanted. Okay, so um, yeah, also uh, from Reason 9, you had this nice new uh, GUI and it was easy, it's easy to, if you don't like the old sort of light one, which is a bit harsh on my eyes, just go to Preferences. Down at the bottom here you see Theme, and then you can choose that I've got it on dark. You can have blue default. Blue is very similar to dark. It's very nice. Okay, so uh, to set up your VSTs, go to instruments here and your instrument browser, basically. <clears throat> and you just scroll down until you, until you find it. And what will happen is when you first install your Reason 9.5 or you update, from reason nine, if you if you've got reason nine already, this is a free update. Uh, it will automatically search for and install any VSTs that you have on your on your computer. It will just find them. You don't need to worry about putting them into folders. Reason does everything for you. It just finds them, locates them, remembers where they are, and you're good to go. So it's dead simple, dead easy, no problems at all. Now you can see that some of these in these auditorial ones, you see have little icons that uh, thing otherwise it'll just say VST plugin which is quite boring really we don't want that do we so I'm just going to quickly show you how you get your little picture so you as normal you just pick hold of it and drop it into the rack there like that or onto your um, uh, sequencer and it will load it might take a little little bit of time oh by the way for uh, any interest this computer is uh, 8 gig of RAM and so you know it's quite a powerful thing you've got um, two bars on our DSP before I've even started we've got yeah and uh, <laughs> we're going to open it and it brings up our screenshot there and we can choose our sound here let's just choose a lead sound so you got like a <laughs> But see how juicy it is in this DSP. Now, if I was to go too mad, that probably uh, it probably kill it. But anyway, the whole point of this is that we'll go with snapshot. Hit snapshot up here. You can close that out there, and you will see. Just let me get rid of that. Um, let's open it over the top of that there. Um, that was my screen recorder. Sorry. Uh, you'll see that our snapshot now has ended up in there as part of the v3 now look at this dsp it's go mad it's go mad but i'll tell you what i'm going to do i'm going to quickly show you something okay that's just as a thing i'm gonna just uh, set let me just set that there to 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 uh, what's it expand it a little bit i'm gonna uh I've got click on to record i'm just going to record a few notes and you can see the dsp is mad uh, oh it'll be a little bit high because of my screen recorder as well but i'm going to record some of this So what we can do now, the very cool thing as well, which was introduced in Reason 9, and we can also do it for the BSTs and whatever, is we just right-click on our uh, track lane here and just right click Bounce in Place. And what it'll do is it'll make an audio copy, an exact audio copy of that sound and all its, all its automation changes as well. It'll just remember it. Okay. So once that's done, do the effects tail and stuff. Right, once that's done, you can see our DSP is still mental there because our mini is, but we can just delete. Let's just delete device and tracks. Delete all in group. And now we're back to our DSP bin. Nice and empty. Okay, so not all VSTs are like this powerful. Just a few of them are. And let's see. Let's see if that, that sounds okay. <laughs> Now, of course, you still have it in your mixer and you can still add effects underneath the uh, audio track exactly, exactly as you still would with any audio clip, except now that you've freed up all your 
your DSP. Okay, so I'm not quite sure what this delay compensation thing is, uh, but anyway, it's something else new. Okie dokie. Right, okay, so we don't need that. That was just a test thing. Right, now I'm going to do another one. Let's see instruments. Um, I'm going to go down to one of my favorites here, which is Sunriser. Now, this is by uh, Beep Street. And it's, uh, it's a synth that is, is like massive on the iOS for the iPad. It's just an absolutely, it's just a brilliant, brilliant synth. And it's also VST as well, as you can see. Um, so we're going to open it. Now you can see that the DSP uses, the, the CPU usage on this is like very, very little. And I'm just going to click all banks. And I'm going to click drum. And I'm going to click this bass drum. And uh, yes. That's fine, and I'm going to record, let me see, I'm just going to set this to do that, and I don't even need to do it that long really, do I, but there you go, I'm going to click on just home in time, and I'll make sure that my quantize record is on as well, and uh, yeah, let's go. So now we have our now we have our thing. Now there's no real need for me to actually bounce that end place, but I could if I wanted to. See, but what I am going to do is I'm going to hold on my keyboard. I'm going to hold Control and then hit D a few times just to copy that and uh, thingy. Now while we're at it as well, let's just drop around the back here. Let's hit Tab and uh, go down like that. You will see that the VST instrument has loads and loads of cv routing options so you, you 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 you're pretty much good to go on everything that you've got like in on your normal rack extensions pretty much uh, you can route everything everywhere else now i i don't hardly ever do this because i'm naff but um and lazy there are some brilliant videos already now uh on youtube uh, showing exactly how to you know route your cv uh, uh, stuff and to things and chain side chain everything off and stuff like that but anyway so i'm going to do another let's see i'm going to do another sunriser and this gives you an idea of how how cool sunriser is for deep i mean still only not hardly used touching the cpu and we're going to let's see i'm going to take that up there a little bit like that i'm going to go to this here, I'm going to show you some cool stuff that you can do as well with your VSTs. So we're going to open Sunriser again. And I'm going to choose, uh, I'll go all again, some arpeggios, I think. Let's see. 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 Let's but what our purposes are, I'm not, you know, I'm not being precious here or anything like that. Now, I will say that bouncing in place, if I was to bounce that in place now, that would be very cool. And you would feel you would hear no difference when the audio files, because you're dealing in audio files when you bounce in place. It's best to bounce what you need as, as one played or one complete section. Otherwise, it's quite possible that you will hear a kind of a, an audio click or a pop <clears throat> and it's easier to do it right on one sort of line. So that's what I'm going to do with this. I'm just going to record this sequence over these, these <clears throat> 16 bars here. And it won't take two secs. So let's do this. I don't even need I've got my quantized record on. Here we go. Thank you. 
Ah, I messed that up. Doesn't matter. I'm not going to do it again. Uh, I messed it up by playing it wrong. But uh, what I'm going to do is show you some other cool stuff you can do. So let's go. Uh, let's open that that one again. And let's let's just uh, run our sequence. <laughs> Now, let's go to automate, and let's automate that. So we just got to click on, click on what we want to automate. And you will see that we have created a filter cutoff lane for our instance of Sunriser there. So I'm just going to draw in a clip here. I'm just going to draw it in all the way through there. I'm going to double click on the clip. I'm going to hit my little drawing pencil tool here and I think I'll start at about there and then I'll end at about uh, there and we'll get it we'll get our filter cut off opening slowly as the track progresses let's hear now <laughs> actually start it let's see get out that and we could actually start it almost completely closed <clears throat> so you hear the effect better so you can draw automation in for anything you like the other way of course is let's have that record it's just hit record So let's stop that now, and you will see I've created a ton of uh, automation lanes just by hitting record and then playing with the instrument itself. So you get an idea of, uh, of 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 how that works there, which is exactly how I did some stuff in a, in another thing, which I'll quickly play. So you basically get the idea, guys. You can you can run your you can run your VSTs and automate them and do whatever you like. They're dead easy to use, and you can see that even with all that automation stuff and everything going on, with um, there's no there's no problem with the uh, the CPU, but particularly with Sunriser. Okay, so I'm gonna show you another couple of cool things. Oh, we are, we're all right. We're all right for time. We are, aren't we? Hey, hey. <clears throat> so right. So this is it. Uh, well, let's just uh, get rid, get rid of those. Cause uh, ah, we'll keep them. <laughs> we'll keep them for a laugh. Let's do something else now. Up to another file. It's instruments. Let's have a look at some more instruments. So we might as well stick with our uh, our VSTs here. Let's see what's what we got down there. Oh, look at that! Look at the awesome retron and restrings by GeForce. I love them. They're so nostalgic and brilliant. Right, silent one. Oh, silent one. Now we can drop it underneath our, our thing if we want to, and it will load as per normal. There it is. And I also, yeah, I know. I'm using an older version. I need to update. I don't want to update that. Right. Um, there it is as normal and you can also see that silent one is also absolutely brilliant at zero pretty much zero cpu usage which is amazing so now we've got like three vsts a ton of automation and and still very little little uh, usage on our on our dsp our, <coughs> our our central processing unit so let's pick a pad for this one i think i just want a basic basic kind of Pad sound and that, and that bank there ain't. Um, need to watch the, the, the volume. That might be nice actually. What I want to do. Um, yeah, that's quite nice. So I'm just going to record some bits here. 
And this will give you an idea of what I was talking about with the audio thing. But for what I'm going to show you now, that's not going to be important. So, but it's it's nice to know. So here we go. So let's record some bits. <laughs> And that's all I need for that. Okay, now what I'm going to do is just quickly check that's okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, got that selected. I'm going to hit Control and D and copy that twice over there. So, but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of those and I'm going to bounce them both in place. So you right click on your track and it'll do the first part like that. And then it'll do the second part because it's two separate parts. Okay. Just recording the effects right so what we're going to do we don't need that on what we're going to do is we're just going to um i just need to i'm just going to solo that okay because i just want you to hear if there's a, some sort of audible clicky thing here when we go over <coughs> Right, so that's what I mean. So if if really you want that to be just a clean pad, just record the whole thing over the over the entire then length, and then you can and then you can uh, do what you like with it. Then you know. However, I mean, you could do crossfades and stuff, and you'd probably never notice it. And if you had drums and stuff going, you'd never notice it as well. So, but you know. Anyway, so what we're going to do now is we're going to um, take that off solo for as well. I'm going to add an effect to the pad, and I'm going to do another VST. Now look, we're still we're still low on we're still low on DSP here, so we're going to go to effects here, and I'm going to go all the way down to. But I ain't got many VST effects, a few really. Um, to Liberator from Sugar Bites, I'm going to drop that in there, and I'm going to choose some. Let's open. I'm going to choose some. Stutter. This is an, an absolutely brilliant, brilliant effect. Effect. It's it's a bit mad. Well, you can you don't have to make it mad, but you can. But I'm going to choose some uh, stutter and so I'm going to choose filter and tape stop because for our purposes it's quite nice. And uh, you want to hear what this and it also as well some VSTs will let you look and search here. Okay, so you know it's pretty normal, but it, I think it's dependent on the type of file file uh, thing it uses anyway doesn't matter but this is now what we're gonna sound like so hardly any DSP okay so you you, 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 you you're getting the idea right so you're getting you're getting the idea uh, uh, that it's it's super 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 cool uh, you've been able to use VSTs inside reason 9.5 absolutely brilliant oh I could go on should I should I do one more I think I've pretty much covered everything God, it's all looking a bit blue isn't it let's have a look Um, I I could do I could do some more Um. I might do just one more little little thing because I mean I don't suppose it anyone who doesn't like it now is gone anyway. They've gone, they've gone, they've gone into the past. <laughs> they've left me. Um, yeah, it's better. You can see me tracks better now. So let's put just a little bit of lead or something on there, and should we just yeah, let's use another another VST. So we've got now. Um, Ooh. 
Oh yeah. Let's use the dagger. This is I haven't used this in here yet. This is uh, another beep strings instrument. This would be brilliant. I love it's like a bit like it reminds me a little bit like a mini moog. It's actually, I'll tell you what it reminds me of. It reminds me, oh, I could have opened something from Contact, couldn't I? I don't mind. Um, it reminds me a little bit of, uh, of um, Mini Moog. It's a bit like Monarch. Let me just... That's weird. Oh, no, I know. It's not weird at all. They sent me this, right... It's that's that this is the demo version and it comes out. I'm not going to use this. It they sent me it to use, and for some weird reason, Beep Street did. And for some odd reason, I couldn't, it wouldn't let me, um, it wouldn't let me use, it wouldn't let me install the actual serial number. And I said, I'll get in touch with them again, which, which brings me to the, to the fact that I'm like, what time is it now? I don't know. It's only 21 minutes, guys. But for t three hours, we are here. Um, let's find... Because contact can be quite juicy. I'm going to... Not contact. I'm going to use reactor. There's contact. Five million contacts. I'm going to stick reactor in there. Because uh, I like um, prism. I love prism i do i love it it's madness complete madness now this is quite juicy so this would be a good example of why i'd want to after i'd recorded the um the thing why i might want to um put the thingy right so now the thing is right with this with the reactor here we go pointless me screenshot on that because it looks looks silly I'm gonna I'm gonna screenshot pri oh there it is prism. I'm gonna <coughs> screenshot prism because that's basically what I use most. Like micro I like micro prism as well, but I'm gonna screenshot that. There you go. So that's done. I just need to have a look at my yeah. See, look, 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 look. It's gone up. Oh, that's does this every time. Right. Excuse me. Right. Okay. Let's do some leads here. Fallout lead. Now, this is going to be... Look. prison I'll find more on what they say Hold on a minute see if I can just see it no no it's there so oh there it is no, it's not Condor. That'll do. Right, I really like this sound. Knock the volume down a bit. Now, you can see the DSP has gone mad. <clears throat> so, hopefully, I'll be able to get through this one take. And uh, then I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll bounce in place. And then we'll finish off. Because that's it. We'll go. So, here we go. So. <laughs> If I bounce that in place now, because it's a one complete take with no gaps or stops and stuff like that, it should, to be fair, sound okie dokie. Doesn't take too long, does it, eh? Hey, hey? It's fast, reason it's fast. Fast and 
stable. Which is why I like it, because I don't, I don't like it upsets me when things crash. And see, I haven't had any crashes at all in 9.5, the, the release version, since uh, I even using all these VSDs and stuff. And I've done some pretty big projects. So now, you see, our DSP is still there, so we can get rid of Reactor. Of course, in the real world, you might want to make more adjustments, make sure everything is absolutely perfect. But now we have... <laughs> not bad not bad at all so there you go guys there's a look at using your vsts and things in inside i think i pretty much covered what i wanted to cover you can see it's quite straightforward it's nice and it's it's, it's easy easy to get going and start and, and they behave very very well they behave just like your rack extensions uh, behave which is nice and the bouncing place is perfect for your higher usage and some of the rack extensions as well use use quite a a quite heavy duty on the old uh, CPU, so the bounce in place feature is 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 absolutely awesome as well. Okie dokie, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, please donate something if you can. Subscribe to the channel, uh, like the video, or become Patreon. And I will see you guys later.